45 years ago today, prison guards took a convicted child killer out Christmas shopping for good behavior, and he escaped. Lester Eubanks has not been seen since, and as Andrew Horansky tells us now, U.S. Marshals are now upping the ante in the hopes of catching him. Hi, Drew. Hi, guys. They certainly are. For the first time, he is on their 15 most wanted list, and even though his case is still many decades older than any of the others, it is clear tonight that the feds have not forgotten. It was 1965 when Mary Ellen Diener, a 14-year-old in Mansfield, left a laundromat to get change and encountered her killer, Lester Eubanks. The son of a preacher, he bludgeoned the girl to death in what appeared to be an attempted rape. Then he confessed. It was an open and shut case. Yeah. Up until this night, 45 years ago in 1973, prison guards took Eubanks to a mall in Columbus to go Christmas shopping, a reward for good behavior. And he walked out, never to be seen again, something Diener's family will never understand. And it was just, poof, just disappeared. When they kind of attacked our, my mom, um, we couldn't believe it. You know, Christmas shopping. Really? From death row? Christmas shopping? <sighs> there are people that assisted him. I don't know who those people are. The story was featured on America's Most Wanted, and though there were leads, there was never an arrest. Investigators believe when he left the mall, Eubanks went straight to Michigan, then Los Angeles, where he settled for years. Last year, investigators released a photo of what he might look like today, likely living under a new identity. He's going to be a good person, a good citizen, and he's going to try to adapt to, to society. He's going to have a wife, he's got kids. While he also has the marshals on his heels, by adding him to their 15 most wanted list, they hope his case will again have the national exposure it needs so someone somewhere connects the dots. Now, keep in mind, the marshals have thousands of cases they are working. Making this list means you are the worst of the worst, the hardest to find. To sweeten the pot, though, they are now even paying up to $25,000 for information that leads to an arrest. Russ, previously to this, that figure was at $15,000. Mm. Fascinating story, Drew. Thank you so much. Sure.